Hi everybody, Marty Rosmanith here with WordPress Direct, and this is the second video about WordPress Direct here in 30 Day Challenge. This is going to show you how to set up your first website using WordPress Direct. Now, if you've never done this before, there's no need to be concerned. Over the last year, we've helped 20,000 people just like you get their first website up on the internet. It's a very pain-free process, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get it done. What you need to have before you uh, do the steps shown in this video is your WordPress Direct account. In the last video, I showed you how using the free trial offer in the 30-day challenge to sign up for WordPress Direct account. Um, you will also need a web hosting account and an internet domain name, which is something chosen based on your theme keywords that you've identified in Market Samurai. You will also need your list of category keywords. And it also helps to have a brief 30 word description of your site, which um, has your keywords in the description. Um, now this is optional in that you can put it in later, but since we're entering the settings when we set up the site, uh, just so we don't forget to do it, uh, I'm going to do the one in the example at this time. Now if you have your WordPress Direct account and you've signed up, then you are probably um, at this page looking at my welcome video or you've clicked uh, manage my sites and you're at a, at a at an empty list of sites no matter where you are as long as you're logged in you'll see this button install new site and that is where you need to go now when we click that button it's going to take us into our theme gallery and again remember I was showing you that you can search the themes uh, using either the recommended or all the themes with this search box. Um, there is also another way to find themes. There are common tags in the themes and people use these to commonly find certain themes. So you can click on this tag cloud and it will find you, for instance, all the widget ready themes uh, or all of the, uh, you know, orange ones. So, um, you can use this, this tag cloud uh, to narrow down your themes. Or if you can put in um, a word, uh, green. I'm sure we'll get something for that. All right, I've decided I like this uh, modern green theme that I see here. So what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to save it to my favorites, just so I have it. And then I'm going to choose Install Website Instantly. Now, before we do this, I want to show you um, the keywords that we're going to use for this particular site before we click Install Website Instantly. You need to have something like this in order to be ready to roll. So, at this point, what I've done is I've done a little bit of Market Samurai research in order to determine that my uh, theme keyword is Grand Vacations Club. Now I'm going to use that um, theme keyword to make a site VIPVacationsClub.com um, and it's pretty close. It would be better if I had registered GrandVacationsClub.com but I already had this domain. It was already set up and I just erased it to do this example. Um, but you probably want to check if your domain is available and uh, that was done yesterday in the, the uh, videos about domain. So we have our category keywords below and we're going to use that to set up the site. So with that, let's go into WordPress Direct. Click Install Website Instantly. And this will take us to step two of the installation, uh, choosing your theme being step one. So now we are going to use the, uh, the information from our uh, Market Samurai research to go and set up this um, new site. So we're going to put in our website address, and I'll put the www in front of it. And then before we put any of this other information in here from our hosting account, let me just go over some brief notes on, on hosting accounts. WordPress Direct can use any cPanel hosting account. cPanel is a, a particular type of account. It's offered by a lot of different providers. Common ones are HostGator, Bluehost, uh, others. Um, and you can see our FAQ for the list of hosting providers that we support. 
Um, the 30 Day Challenge uses HostGator, and if you're new to this, you likely signed up for an account yesterday. Um, so if this is your first site, then you, uh, you've got uh, no worries. And then if not, uh, make uh, an add-on domain in your cPanel dashboard. So if you already have an existing um, cPanel account, you can just use an add-on domain uh, instead of buying a new HostGator account. Um, now, when you do such a thing, you will uh, your cPanel will email you the details of that add-on domain. It usually looks something like this. And um, the username and password that we're going to use are right in the center of that information that the cPanel mails you. Now, again, if you're new and you just signed up for a HostGator account, um, the username and password were what were in the order wizard when you signed up for that account, and it's likely that HostGator has mailed those to you as well. So, you need the username and password that you set when you created that HostGator account, or when you created an add-on domain in an existing cPanel, one way or the other. Um, the, you need those two things in order to continue. So now, um, I'm going to use that information here. And in this case, again, the hosting company is HostGator. There are other supported ones. Um, if you're not using HostGator, you can choose a different one. In the case of the 30-day challenge, we're using HostGator. And then the next thing is going to be the website title. And this should really um, uh, match your, uh, your either your, your, your URL and your theme keyword should be the same. In the case of my domain, which doesn't match the theme keyword, I'm going to make the website title the theme keyword. So Grand Vacations Club. Slogan for the website is um, uh, specializing in grand vacations club information. How about we put specializing in timely Grand Vacation Club's information, email address for the website. Um, we will put our WPD 30DC2009 at gmail.com address. And uh, the password. So when, when we want to um, access, if we're going to access um, the admin uh, panel in WordPress, which is, which is known as WP Admin. Uh, this will be the password for that. Um, in this case, right now, I'm just going to make a demo. And now in here, in this box, the next box, we need our website keywords. Now this are what are your category keywords that you got from Market Samurai. So we will grab these. We'll paste them in here. And then when this blog is set up, WordPress Direct will turn these into the categories of the blog. Um, so you can use those to organize all of your content, um, which will conti contribute to its search ranking. Uh, once we have all this information put in, we can just check our settings and proceed to the next step. Uh, our settings check out just fine, and so now we're on step three. This is the last step. Now, what this uh, next piece is, is um, since everybody's getting a bronze trial, you're going to have access to our content posting software. And we're going to use this um, uh, in a separate video that I'll do later uh, for you guys, uh, not as part of the 30 day challenge, but just as a separate video on WordPress Direct. Um, we're going to check these boxes for text and video, and we'll leave the ones for shopping off. And um, we're going to use the same demo password for uh, the software that gets installed on the blog. And um, I want to stress that you're going to see the, uh, the um, page for um, using this software in your WordPress Direct control panel for the blog. And I want you to resist using it for the first two weeks that your site um, is uh, attempting to get ranked in Google. 
because if you start posting lots of content um, using these automated methods, it won't look natural and you'll get slapped in Google. So please just uh, be patient with it. I'll show you how to use it in a little bit, uh, but for right now, we're just going to check these boxes, which will install the software, um, but it won't activate it. Um, the next piece will be an AdSense ID if we want to show AdSense. We do not want to do that, especially when we are first trying to get the site ranked. Um, and then a Google Analytics ID so we can track the traffic that's coming to the site. Now this is a good idea and what I think is, uh, what I recommend is you leave it enabled and leave this placeholder in here. Um, Guru Bob will do a separate video that shows you how to set up your analytics account and then when you put that ID in here it'll replace this placeholder um, and while this placeholder is here it won't uh, affect your blog in any way. Um, it will just um, uh, install the uh, the plugin and, and configure it so that when Guru Bob does his video you have a place to put your analytics ID. Um, the rest of this stuff is uh, um, there are some premium plugins that are available uh, if you are a gold or platinum member um, which I'll do a separate video for uh, later uh, again as just separately as a WordPress direct video and then um, we're all done so we're gonna install our website now And WordPress Direct will essentially copy files over, configure the site, and when it's done, uh, we will see our website, which will be there, but it won't have any content on it yet. Um, the one thing I want to mention is that before you start this process, it's a good idea for you to type the URL of your site in and get what's called an index of listing. And that shows that the site uh, is uh, there on your host with nothing, no content uh, in the hosting account. Now, if you just set up a new HostGator account, instead of having an index of, you'll have like a little HostGator welcome screen, um, you know, with the picture of the alligator and all of that. That's okay too. Um, uh, either one of those things, the HostGator welcome screen or the index of, tells you that your um, hosting account is ready to receive a new website from WordPress Direct. Um, let's go back to the control panel. Uh, our installation is complete, so literally takes less than a minute. Um, and then what we can do is uh, click visit our site. We already have a tab open here, so what I'll do is I'll just refresh it. And now you will see that we have um, an empty blog using the theme we chose. Um, the title has been set to our theme keyword, Grand Vacations Club. Um, and uh, so, you know, we, we have our site, VIP Vacations Club, that's sort of optimized for our theme keyword. Um, the categories will not show up on many of these blogs until you actually post content into the category. WordPress typically removes categories from the list that don't have any content in there. So, um, in the next video, I will be showing you how to post content to the blog and then you'll see the first category pop up. So um, that's the next video in this series. If you uh, want to uh, see all the videos in the series then please go to the 30daychallenge.com site and sign up uh, for the challenge.